Hi there, Stitchy friends. I'm Kat from Catkin and Lily, bringing you all the best tips, tricks, and tutorials so you can get the most joy from your stitching. Now, if you've ever struggled to make those quarter and three quarter stitches, where you need to go into the middle of a block of Ada, then I'm going to show you how to make it easier using a sharp needle. If you've never stitched fractional stitches, then maybe just save this video to look at if you do come across them. And you can subscribe too, because I'm sure to be talking more about fractional stitches and all sorts of other good stuff. Now, your standard blunt tapestry needle is absolutely perfect for cross stitch 99% of the time. But when it comes to getting into the middle of a block of Ada for fractional stitches, it's not so good. Now, before I show you the trick with the sharp needle, there's one other little tip you can use to make your fractional stitches easier, even with your regular cross stitch needle. And I'm using this little pattern to demo. You can see it just has a few fractional stitches here and there. So I've got my regular needle. And if I finish this stitch here. So the first tip is to make sure that when you're doing your fractional stitch, that you push down from the front with your needle rather than trying to come up from the back. It's so much easier to see if you're in the right place. And it's also easier to pierce through the middle of the block of fabric. So, like so. Okay, I'll leave that one there. And I'll show you now with the sharp needle for the stitch up here. So you would finish your stitch, come up in the corner of the block, and I want to go down into the middle of this block of Ada here. So I'm just gonna hold onto my regular needle I'm going to take a sharp needle and I'm going to use it just to pierce a hole into the middle of the block of Ada. So I'm not going to be using this sharp needle to be doing any actual cross stitching, just going to pop it in there. It will just make a little guide hole so that when I come to put my needle down through, easy, right? So that's two quick ways to make fractional stitches easier, and I hope they help you out. Now, fractional stitches can be tricky in quite a lot of different ways, so do let me know in the comments if there's anything about fractional stitches that you'd like me to cover. And if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe, all that good stuff, because it will help these tips reach more people. Thank you so much for watching, and happy stitching!